Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. In this episode, we'll be previewing the second test match between India and England. The test match at Lords, uh, it's upon us now, a quick turnover. And um, you know, the, the test series, the matches have been clustered together and that means there will be injuries, there'll be a test of stamina, there'll be a test of skill. It's not going to be easy with the bubble and everything as well. So, and we've already got the latest news from Lords is that Stuart Broad has been ruled out um, from the series due to a hamstring, not a hamstring, a calf injury, sorry. And uh, he will be missing a because of the injury in warm-up. Very unfortunate, you know, while you're practicing to get injured like that. And there's also news that Anderson will be missing out the second test. He's not ruled out for the series, but there is news that he might not play because of uh, injury that he picked up in the first test match. And we knew this, you know, uh, with the tight schedule, the likes of Anderson Broad, they're veterans and, uh, you know, it will be a test for their um, fitness. It will be a test and that's exactly what happened. So I think in their place, uh, they have three options. They have Overton, they have... Saka Bamud and Mark Wood. I would go with Mark Wood and Saka Bamud to replace these two because, um, you know, you already have the likes of Sam Curran, Moeen Ali and Ollie Robinson who can bowl and bat. So Overton adds to that. I would rather go with two, uh, you know, out and out seamers. And that's what Saka Bamud and um, Mark Wood are. Mark Wood has serious pace. He will trouble the Indian best, especially if conditions are helpful. So that's what I would do. And um, if you look at from India side of things, Shardul Talker will miss out uh, due to a hamstring injury. Very unfortunate. He had a great game, I felt, in the first test match. It does kind of uh, cause problems because Shardul Talker uh, provides with the bat as well. So as a fourth seamer, he, you're expecting him to score a few runs. He didn't in the first test. So, you know, you would argue that it's okay. India should just go with a like for like seamer. And uh, Virat Kohli has uh, emphasized in his last, uh, in the last press conference that, you know, there's a template that we want to follow with four seamers. And if if that's the case, then the likes of Ishan Sharma or Umesh Adav, whoever is fit, will get a go. Ishan Sharma with press, first press, first preference, I think. So um, that's uh, India side of things. Also, I think Ashwin has a fair shot. I would play Ashwin, I think, instead of a fourth seamer, just because, you could, uh, you know, the Lord's wicket will be conducive to spin. Ashwin was brilliant in Australia. And Jadeja, I don't see him as a spinner. I see him as a batsman just in this in this series. Of course, he will provide, um, you know, wickets with the ball. He's brilliant, especially if the conditions are helpful. But I think you can just keep him as a batsman, give him that responsibility that you're playing as a batsman. You need to get 50, 60 runs. He did that in the first test match. And I think that should continue. Whereas Ashwin is your lone spinner, I think. Of course, Jadeja can help him, but Ashwin is your main spinner. He'll uh, tighten one uh, one end up. He'll give a break for the fast bowlers, I feel. And, um, you know, that will be, uh, it'll be good because, you know, when you when you do play four fast bowlers, sometimes, you know, one bowl is under or, you know, there is issues. Whereas Ashwin, I think, kind of balances that. And I think, of course, uh, you have to take the call on that, uh, toss uh, what the pitch looks like but the, because there's been a lot of games at lords uh, with the 100 going on there i think uh, the pitch will be conducive to spin especially on the fourth fifth day and if india do bad first then ashwin will be crucial in that on day five pitch so i think um, i would go ashwin uh from that side of things and from england side of things i would go saka and and mark wood if anderson and broad don't play uh if you look at england's batting I think, uh, you know, this cause for concern there. I think Moen Ali will come in for uh, Dan Lawrence. Dan Lawrence hasn't had the uh, great of, of greatest of times. And um, also there's a big shout for Hasib Hamid, Hamid to play. I think he batted really well in the warm-up game. So there's, um, you know, a lot of people are pushing him to via spot. And whether he'll play instead of, um, well, uh, instead of Crawley, who's not been in the greatest of touch after that century, uh, double century at... Uh, against Pakistan, um, you know, whether it's uh, in place of Crawley or Sibley, we're not sure yet. I think Sibley, there's been a lot of criticism about a strike rate and consuming too many balls. I still feel, you know, you need a player like that in a test match who can hold one thing, uh, one side of things and let the other batsman play his full game. That's what Root did in the second innings. And I felt that Sibley's contribution was key. Yeah, you can say that, you know, he hardly scored any runs and he consumed so many balls, but it gave Root the license to hit and uh, play some attacking shots, knowing that there's someone there, the wickets are not falling. So you have to look at it from that perspective. And that's why I would play Sibley. Crawley, again, if you want, you can back him. I think he has talent over there. But if you just want to go with someone informed then Hasib Amid is your option. So those are the uh, changes that England might go for. For India with the bat, you know, Pujara, Virat Kohli and Rahani, a lot of spotlight will be on them. Three of them are not informed and uh, India need them to fire. At least two of the, the three need to fire. They need to score 50s. They need to score 100s. 
for India to win this series. And uh, there will be a lot of scrutiny because if you look at the top order, Rahul and Rohit Sharma are looking like a good pair. Uh, Rahul, uh, he grabbed his opportunity with both hands after Agrawal got injured and he will cement his place for the second test match, even though Agrawal, I think, is fit now. But Rahul will play as an opener, I feel. And he's been in good touch with these three batsmen. The middle order needs to fire for India. They've not been in good form, you know. It, uh, and if Broad and Anderson are both not playing, this is the perfect chance. They just need to, yeah, you know, um, play play their shots, but you know, play them smart. Virat Kohli, that first uh, the first ball against Anderson, he, uh, the, it was unnecessary that shot he played. So you have to be careful, but at the same time, you need the scoreboard ticking as well. So let's see how that goes from that side of things. I think that will be the key. India's middle order will they fire? If they don't, then England have a chance in this game. Whatever depleted side that they do play, England are always have a shout in these conditions because you know India is susceptible, especially to the swinging ball. So um, I think from that side of things, that's what India needs. I think uh, their bowling uh, did their bit in the in the first Test match. Of course, they leaked a few runs here and there, and that's why I think someone like Ashwin will keep the fast bowlers fresh, and uh, those short bursts will be very useful for India. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if you look at England, again, their batting order, everything will uh, you know rely on Root. He's in fantastic form. He's leading the pack. If he can continue that, it'll be great, but they need somebody to step up. And uh, you know, Moin Ali's inclusion straight away tells me that you know they're looking to beef up the batting. And uh, I think uh, he will contribute. Uh, and we've seen him with the ball. He's been uh, India's nemesis, especially in test matches in England, where he comes and picks up wickets. He picks up a five-fer, picks up a four-fer. So uh, from that side of things, I think he will provide as well for, for England with the ball. Uh, it's all set up for a mouth-watering contest at Lords. I think India's life favorite is going into, into this game confident after that uh, first test match performance. But, you know, there's still a job to do. It doesn't matter who's playing from England. They'll always be lethal in these conditions, especially against a subcontinent team. We saw that against Pakistan as well last year. So um, it's uh, it'll be a very interesting, fascinating test match. The weather looks better uh, compared to the first test. So, you know, hopefully uh, hoping for some clear skies and some fantastic cricket. The atmosphere will always be brilliant at the home of cricket at Lords. Uh, yeah, I'm tipping India to edge this, but I think the toss will be a crucial factor. Whoever wins the toss in bat first will have an advantage. So watch out for that as well. And the players to watch out for, for me, from India side of things, it has to be Virat Kohli. You know, the uh, he hasn't scored a big uh, uh, century or he hasn't got those big runs, especially in the test format in a long time now. It's been over a year since he scored 100. So um, I think for India to do well, you need your best player to stand up, and that is Virat Kohli. And from England side of things, you know, of course we know about Root, but I think I'm just going to look at Moin Ali because I feel that with both bat and ball, he can stabilize England and bring that stability, not necessarily on Ben Stokes level, but, you know, that kind of player where you can provide from both ends and um, make the side more balanced. So for me, Moin Ali is the player to watch out for from England. There's going to be a plenty of talent on display. So make sure you tune in and we'll be um, we'll be covering the game throughout, uh, throughout the day and we'll come uh, after every day we will review. So make sure you like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much for joining me and um, let us know your thoughts on this game and your ideal 11 going into this lord's test match uh, thank you so much for joining me until next time take care